Hey y'all, welcome to Kamira's Kitchen. The weather is cold and baby, you need to warm yourself up with this delicious beef and vegetable soup. Now I have a secret ingredient that I guarantee that you have not tried before in your beef and vegetable soup that your family is going to love. This is loaded with a delicious chuck rose as well as a variety of different vegetables and herbs. Now to start off with, I have a two and about a quarter pound chuck rose. And I got one with some nice marbling baby, okay? Cause that fat is flavor. And what you wanna do is cut this into about one inch, no more than one and a half inch pieces. It's okay if they're just a touch larger because remember that fat is going to just render down. I used about one and three fourths of the meat and I just put the rest in a freezer bag to use for another time when I'm going to make a soup like this. I am going to season this beef with a little bit of Maggie sauce. You could also use a little bit of that W sauce, okay? Y'all that know, know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? A little bit of salt and flour. Now I am not going to put the other spices on the beef because if you do that, they're just gonna burn when you try to brown it. For my seasonings, I'm gonna use a half a tablespoon of garlic powder and garlic butter seasoning, as well as a teaspoon of thyme and oregano, about a tablespoon and a half of beef bouillon and minced onion, and then about about a teaspoon of pepper. Of course, you just adjust them to your own taste. I'm gonna put that bowl at the side and add it in later. Up next, we are going to prep some vegetables. Y'all, the vegetable prep is so easy. So I have one medium onion and I am going to dice it. I'm also gonna take two ribs of celery and I'm gonna dice those as well and then place them to the side. I'm also going to be using a few carrots. I'm gonna cut off that top end and bottom. I like to compost those. Now you don't have to actually peel the carrots, but I find that when I don't peel them, they have a bit of a earthy flavor that they add to the soup which is fine but you know it's just not what I'm going for in the comments tell me what your favorite winter soup is this is definitely one of my favorites I keep it on heavy rotation okay so let me know what you are cooking I know y'all are doing chicken noodle but what else are y'all up to now I have some melanated mushrooms baby I feel like the melanated ones is the best time Okay, I know white mushrooms, they out there. Okay, they need love, but these, you know, brown ones, baby, honey, they are so good. And I'm going to slice them, or you could also cut them into fourths. In a nice, large Dutch oven, I'm going to add a little bit of butter, baby, okay? And then I'm gonna put a bit of olive oil, and I'm going to saute these mushrooms. Now, you don't wanna add nothing to the mushrooms until they get brown. This is gonna take about five to six minutes on medium heat. Then I just threw in a pinch of salt. Now I'm gonna add in a generous amount of olive oil and I'm gonna throw in that mirepoix. Okay, don't I sound bougie? <laughs> I know what that is, y'all. Okay, that onion, that celery, that carrot. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and then I'm going to saute this for about five minutes as well. Just until a little bit of color starts to get on that onion and I'm going to take that out. Now I know some of y'all like, this is a lot of browning girl. I know, I know, but this is how you get that nice depth of flavor in a soup. I know some of y'all be on that dump and go. Okay, now there's nothing wrong with that, you know, for a little busy night, but if you're trying to do a little some some, okay, go ahead and make sure you brown everything. The last thing I'm going to put in is my beef. I'm going to brown this for about two to three minutes per side. You don't want to turn it a lot. You wanna just let it get brown. Then I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of tomato paste and then all of that seasoning and garlic. If I were to have added in the seasoning on top of the beef while it was browning, then what's gonna happen is that that seasoning was really just gonna burn and I wouldn't have been able to brown the beef as long. So now that my beef is already brown, I can just saute this for about a minute or two and I'm gonna get the same toasted effect. Now baby, this is the secret, okay? I'm gonna put in one whole 12 ounce bottle of a Guinness. You can use any dark beer, do not skip this, okay? I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. And no, you will not taste beer. If you don't do beer, you can do about a cup and a half of red wine in its place. If you don't do alcohol, you could just use beef broth in its place. Will it taste the same? No. Will it still be good? Yes, okay?
so now i'm going to add some hot water from my kettle y'all i don't be measuring this but i probably put in about six cups of water combined with the beer that's about eight cups of liquid then i am throwing in just a ton of fresh herbs i have oregano thyme a little bit of rosemary that's straight from my garden then I'm going to add some dried bay leaves and a, just a little bit of better than bouillon beef. I'm going to cover this when this comes up to a boil, cut the heat down to low, and then allow this to simmer for about an hour and 20 minutes or until that beef is tender. Okay, you want to be able to take your fork and, you know, just push on it and the beef should become nice and tender. I am then going to cut up two potatoes. You could use way more potatoes in this, but you know, I'm not like a huge potato lover. I like them, but you know, I don't wanna get crazy with it, all right? This is gonna add a little bit of heartiness to your soup. It will also help to thicken it up. I'm gonna cut it up and I'm going to place this to the side. If you don't want to use potato, alternatively, you can just add some pasta. It has been an hour and 20 minutes. You can see the water level has reduced just a little bit no problem and also i'm going to show you how tender my beef is so because we use that chuck roast okay chuck roast becomes nice and silky you know when you simmer it on low and mm, y'all this is some good beef y'all know i took that for a chef snack these potatoes are going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to get soft. I'm gonna simmer them covered with the mushrooms until I can stick my fork in them. If you are going to use pasta, of course, this would be the time to add it. And of course, you could just cook it according to the package instructions. I think elbow macaroni would be the best choice. You could probably also use a little bit of rice. Now, I've never done that, but I feel like a beef, mushroom, and rice soup would also be very delicious. If you try that, let me know. Now I'm gonna go in and pick out these twigs, honey, and them leaves. Baby, if I leave that in there, my family be complaining. Like, am I trying to give them rabbit food, y'all? I gotta take it out, okay? Then I'm going to put in a 12 ounce bag of mixed vegetables. This is just one from the frozen section. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, of course, cause you know I've added more vegetables and that potato, and you just wanna adjust your seasonings from here. Now there's a lot of fat that's on the top. Most of that rendered from the chuck roast, and I'm just going to skim it off. Don't worry that a couple of dried herbs are coming out while you skim that fat. Honey, they have been simmering for over an hour. They have fully done their job and they have flavored this soup. I will leave a little bit of fat on the top because I feel like it adds a good flavor, but that is just up to you. Now y'all, this beef and vegetable soup is perfect served with some crackers or even a Gouda grilled cheese sandwich. Let me know if you are going to make this recipe. Goodbye and God bless.